How's it going ladies and gents, Reverend Satan back again with another video for you guys today. And what we're going to be talking about is content creators' privileges, I guess you could say. Things that things that a lot of uh, content creators get that normal people and smaller content creators do not. Uh, and it, it's kind of becoming a big thing even though it's old news. Uh, but for some reason, it's coming back up and people are making a big deal out of it when it's something that's already been known for since, since the game came out. So we're going to get into that here. I'm talking about free uh, COD points. I almost said crypto keys. It's not crypto keys. It's COD points. Free COD points. A lot of content creators were given a, a certain amount of COD points for free by whether it be Activision or Treyarch or whatever. Uh, but my th And people are making a big stink out of it. And I'm like, why? why this has been happening we've known this has been happening since the game came out and stuff like this has happened for years for content creators content creators have gotten early codes early access codes free games free consoles all from all sorts of different developers and publishers and people don't make a big freaking deal out of that man but all of a sudden for some reason like a certain somebody brings it up again rips the scab off an old wound and it's a big deal again i don't understand this this is something that has been going on for years in the in the in the content creation scene big content creators almost always seem to get certain games early if the developer slash publisher so chooses to give them the game people got overwatch early People got uh, uh, Black Ops 3 early. People got Halo 5 early. A lot of people got Halo 5 early, to be exact. Uh, people got uh, uh, Battleborn early. People got all sorts of games early, guys. That's what. That's just how it works, you know. They 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 see it's an advertisement, is what it is. And when they give free keys, it's just like okay, here's free DLC. Here's a free uh, um, um, what's it called? A free season pass. Here's here's some extra ones that you can give out if you want. That's how it works, guys. This is not new news. This is not news at all. Actually, it's not news. It's a non-story. We've known about this. This isn't this isn't new. I don't understand why everybody's making a big stink out of it in a big deal because it's something that's been around for so long and has been accepted by the majority of people uh i i, I honestly don't understand now i will say I, I myself did not receive any cod points uh there were a lot of even big youtubers who did not receive any cod points nature apparently being one of them hutch being one of them didn't receive any uh there are very 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 few select youtubers who got them and honestly I almost it almost seems like it's an accident like it wasn't even meant to happen like someone just decided okay I'm gonna give this guy some cop points that's what it seems like to me because nobody I know of was given COD points, or, or at least seemed like they were given COD points, and, and they spent money on them. Uh, and, and there's a lot of YouTubers who I know who, even if they were given COD points, they would still buy them because that's just who they are. Uh, that's what I would do. I would, I would if, I, if I had the, the COD points, would I use them? Yes. Would I tell you to buy COD points? No. I'd, I'd keep to my word and how I feel about the whole COD point system and buying supply drops and stuff like that, I would still recommend against buying them uh, and try to get it in game without spending money because it's just ridiculous, especially with the odds. Imagine if I was given like a hundred thousand COD points and I still didn't get something like the FFAR or the MX Garant. If I had a hundred thousand COD points and didn't get every single piece of freaking equipment in the game, then something's wrong, man. I would 100% say don't freaking waste your money, man. Uh, but I, I didn't get that. I didn't have that opportunity. I really don't know of too many who, too many people who did get that opportunity. Uh, but nonetheless, it's not new. I don't understand what the big deal is. Oh, so they got COD points for free. They're a content creator. They're there to create content on the game. And publishers and, and, and developers understand that. Uh, so they're going to be able to, they're, they're going to pick certain people to, to push their product as far as they possibly can to as many people as they possibly can. Uh, because the reviews are dying, guys. I've talked about this in a recent video. Reviews are dying. News outlets are, are kind of dying depending on the type of news that they, they uh, present. The way they present the news is dying. It's becoming more of a content creator based review system people care more about what their favorite youtuber says about a game than they do about this score on a piece of paper or this big long article that they have to sit there and read or even a long video that they have to sit there and watch that's not entertaining to them just to get a score at the end of the video 
those are dying and people are care more about what their their content creators saying and publishers and developers know this they realize that and that's just how it works man i promise you there will be people who get no man's sky early i promise you that uh there's been people i promise people get gears of war early there's gonna be people who get um I mean, I, like I said, people got Overwatch early. I, I actually was watching a few streams talking about when the servers go live. Not when the game comes out, because the game was coming out midnight that night. Uh, but the servers went live a few hours earlier for those who had the game early. That's just how it works, guys. It's marketing. And, and it's not new. It's not news. So just understand that that's how it is. They're, they're saw, seen as an advertiser for the game sure it's cool that they get the game early for them it, it might be unfair to some people uh who don't understand it but that's just how it is man so and it's been like that for years and we've known this so i don't understand a big deal i don't know i guess i just wanted to talk about that get guys give my two cents in case you guys didn't remember you know where my stance is on this stuff uh don't think about it too much man it's not a big deal it's, it's just cod points man it's just COD points. Oh, it's just a DLC weapon, dude. It's one, one, two, three things that really don't change the game at all. It's just a different uh, one or two extra things worth of variety because most of them are no good uh, in the game. That That's just true. The only ones I see as, as being good in the game are the MX Garand and, and the FFAR. Uh, the, the Shadow Claws, okay. But anyway, that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, also, hit that like button if you have not. If you enjoyed the video, and hit and don't forget to share it with your friends. And hit that subscribe button if you have not. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another video. Peace.